This is the, the project that we are uh, working on right now. Uh, this is basically a project we're testing if it's going to work for a smart house. We're having the Arduino Mega over here that controls everything. We have the Bluetooth model that we are going to communicate with via an Android app. And we have some sensors, uh, like first we got like these two sensors, these are the what's so called the PIR sensors. They detect motion, you know, if you move, like if I'm gonna put a reset over here, you see it already detected some change in heat, that's the, that's the basics of how it works. You see that one also detected and turned the LEDs on. You got also this uh, sensor, this proximity sensor. Normally, it should uh, light up this LED, as you can see. That's the toilet LED, supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not right now, but it will. So you got also the DHT11 temperature and the humidity sensor. Um, so now, uh, now we are turning to. Uh, print those uh, the values on an LCD screen right here. It's not connected yet. We also got some servos. These are like we got two for the windows, and one for the door, and another big one for the garage. And it needs more horsepower. Uh, not horsepower, just torque. <laughs> horsepower is for automobiles. Uh, I think I forgot to talk about the RFID tag. Well, uh, the RFID reader, of course. Uh, so in here we're using that to, uh, for instance, if I move this card right here, it'll turn that servo on. If I put it back, it'll turn it back. So that controls the servo that will open and close the door. Can you do uh, it again, man? What? Do it again. Do about uh, for the servo of the door. Right. Yeah. There you go. There. And if I... Do it again, if I can yeah, close again, good. it'll come back to its initial state. So. Um, uh, now, I think uh, I think we're having some sort of problem with connection with the Bluetooth model. It was fine, just when I added, I guess, the peers. I don't know if that's the problem or not, but I'm going to figure it out sooner.